Hi. First meet of the year, or actually second meet of the year, but I missed the first one. First meet of the year for me is in like 30 minutes. I gotta rinse a big girl, she's really dirty. start our meets till um, <laughs> mid-April-ish, uh, but it was nice out. Uh, I don't think we've had a turnout like this in a couple of years. This is wild. Big, uh, big car meet, big car meet. And they put in new lights. So we got new lights, new everything, it's exciting. This is a sneak preview of Pound's car. If he hasn't posted the video yet on his channel, people now know. Yeah, well, people on Instagram know. Well, you gotta, you gotta get on it and post the video. This is coming out next Thursday. Oh, shit. Well, I'm actually filming the intro Sunday. Okay, let's get on it. Get on it. Go check out Pound's YouTube channel. Look who I found. It's Dan. Dan, what is your meaningful quote for today? You're not going to say a quote? No. Who, who are you? <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I haven't been to a car meet, I don't know how long. Um, so it was definitely fun. Right now, we are on our way to go pick up a new lens because it's been probably five or six years since I bought a new lens and I think it's time to start investing in myself again. Uh, obviously I invest in the cars but I think it's start to, time to start investing in the uh, cinematography again because that's what got me into this and I feel like that's what I've lost a little bit of. So, um, gear upgrade coming in the very near future. I think I'm going to move to one of Canon's mirrorless cameras. Uh, I'm renting one for uh, this upcoming weekend. We'll be in Miami with Dr. M3. I'm going to buy my first piece of L glass and if you know Canon you know that the L glass means super baller. Um, it is an expensive lens, uh, the same price uh, that I paid for my 70D, I'm pretty sure, which is what I'm shooting on right now. Uh, it probably be more for photo than video, but like I said, I, I need to start investing in myself again. You, you, if you haven't invested in yourself recently, and you know, uh, whatever reason, um, do it, man. Just do it. You know, the only way you're going to progress is if you believe in yourself. And sometimes believing in yourself is investing in yourself. So, uh, we're, we're doing it. Bag secured, y'all. Boom. 70 to 200 F28 second revision. Uh, we're at Auto Engineering. About to get an alignment on the S6 because when you air out, uh, this side is very much towed in and it sits on the tire right here. This side tucks. So we gotta get that figured out, get it straightened out, and then uh, I need to get the back tint redone, but that's not happening today. All right, as you can see, welcome to New England where uh, the weather changes in about three seconds. Uh, we are back in a parking garage where I've filmed a lot of things over the year and also gotten kicked out of many, many, many times. Um, it's absolute pouring rain. Uh, but I wanted to test this new lens out. So first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Rick from Auto Engineering. I know I said I just got an alignment from them. That was two days ago. My polarizer hadn't come in for this lens yet, so I didn't want to film with it yet. I posted a couple pictures on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's right here. But um, the camber on this side is way off. It wasn't the toe, like I said. So we cambered this in. It's now 2.4 degrees at ride height on both sides. But of course, the main reason we are here today is to test out the new 70 to 200 f2.8. Um, if you're not into camera stuff, uh, there will be some pretty glamour shots. If you are into camera stuff, we're gonna get a little nerdy with it. So, um, 
This is the lens that I shoot most of my stuff on, and actually I think to this point, this is the most expensive lens that I've owned. This lens, I believe I bought for around $250 or $300. Uh, it's a 10 to 18, so it's really wide like that, and it only zooms in that far. But it's great for vlogging because the wide angle makes it nice and stable. What it isn't good at is generating a depth of field. Now, what, I, what do I mean by depth of field? Look at this shot, and then look at this shot. And see the background, how the background is all blurry in there? That would be your depth of field. So when I point this at the car, uh, the car is in focus, the trees are in focus. I mean, obviously the car is more in focus than the other stuff, but uh, the trees are not blurry. Everything is smooth, uh, and that's because this lens doesn't have a very wide opening to let the light in. The, light, the wider the opening is, the better depth of field you get, as well as the longer the lens, so uh, the more the lens is zoomed in, uh, the better depth of field you get. So this has both going against it, being a wide angle, and also being a, 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 a narrow opening lens. So uh, what this F2.8 is, is it's a wider opening, and I said it's a 70 to 200. This is a 10 to 18. The higher the number, the more zoomed in the lens is. Uh, moral of the story is that lens is gonna be much sharper. It's also much higher quality glass, so it should get us a, a really, really nice sharp image. Now for reference, this is my 24 millimeter F2.8. Um, so this is another wider angle, but the opening is larger, so we do get this. See how this goes blurry behind me? It's much better at getting that depth of field effect than, uh, than the uh, wide angle lens that I usually use. However, because it's more zoomed in, it's more shaky, and so it's better off being used on a tripod. But uh, I look like this in front of it, and the car looks like that. All right, here's the same shot. Uh, this is 70 millimeters on the uh, on the new lens. See how crisp this is? Obviously, it's more zoomed in, so you get less background. It looks more uh, more tight. But see how sharp the lens is? And let me show you when I go in front of it. This is me in front of the car. See how much blurrier it is than the previous one? Also, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm much further away from the camera this time. All right, now let's show what the polarizer magic does. Polarizer goes over the camera, and then. We get it tightened down, and now you saw, and we actually may have to brighten this up a little bit because the polarizer does have a little bit of a dimming effect to it, but um, if I rotate this around, you can see the shadows vary on the car. Um, there's only one more thing to do, and that's uh, to back up and uh, zoom in to 200 millimeters. All right, there's the car at 200 millimeters, so you can uh, see the depth of field difference in the background. This is almost the same exposure for everything. The only thing I did was bump up the ISO for, uh, for the polarizer. So uh, I actually got that lens off Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if I said that in the video. There's a, I filmed across like four different days. It's kind of hard to remember what I said. Um, but uh, there's the S6 all aired out. Uh, I couldn't be happy with how it looks right now, by the way. Um, but I guess I could be because we got summer wheels coming soon. They should be here mid-April, so that's exciting. Um, next week we'll be in Florida with Doc to M3. Very exciting stuff. Um, but I, I paid four digits for that lens. It's not a cheap lens. Um, but you got to invest in yourself. So, uh, exciting video next week with the uh, rental camera and hopefully a new camera in the near future. Uh, new wheels coming, bank account empty and all that fun stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cinematic style video. If you'd like me to get more nerdy with the cinematic stuff, I am more than happy to. Also, I apologize that those were all up, down, or side to side pan shots. Um, I, don't think my, uh, I don't think my slider can handle that lens. So, uh, we're gonna be reduced to up, down, side to side until uh, Actually, I don't know if there's much that can handle that. That's a big dog. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and we will catch you guys in the next video.
later. Boom, baby.